there are any number of uh, calendar applications that you can use. Uh, I'm going to give you a look at um, the, the Google app, partly because it's uh, I think it's relatively easy to use, but also because it synchronizes with PDAs and it's not uh, restricted to one operating system. Um, so uh, if you've already got a Google Mail account, that's fine. You can use that if you want to. Uh, but what I've done is I've set up a, a new Google account, uh, so partly because I, so I can keep this diary separate from my other one, uh, but I can also synchronize them if I want to. Okay, so once you've done that, you, you go into Gmail, uh, and to get into the calendar, there's this little icon up the top here. You click on that, and that lets you go into your calendar. Now, first time you use the calendar, it'll come up with several hints and tips. Uh, but once you're into it, uh, then you end up with this. It's a pretty straightforward calendar. Um, and let's just have a go at fitting some information in. So, for example, uh, I'll do the Tuesday group. And Tuesday group starts at 8 with further maths, analytical methods. So, Tuesday, 8 o'clock, just click in the square. And then we're going to stick in there unit 103 analytical. Okay, so now we've got that there. Uh, we've got that in. Let's edit the event. So you click on edit events, and this gives you some options. So at the moment, you can see we're down from 8 until 9. What we really want is 8 until 9.30. So you can just go in there. And make it 9 30. Um, we're going to repeat it because this is going to happen throughout the year okay so at the moment let's stick in there repeat weekly every week on a Tuesday starts then and ends on we can give a specific date okay so click in there and you can go through to let's go through to July 20th um, 2015 done okay so the location is going to be in room two at Hetter. Um, the other thing you can do is you can choose the colour that this blocks in. Okay, so it uh, depends on what you want to do. So I'll just leave it for that one for the moment and then save. Okay, so you can see now that we've got that one in there already. You can put more information in there if you want to. Uh, so the next one we're going to stick in is the uh, tutorial which starts at 9.45. Well, there is no 9.45 there, so just click in a box. And we're going to call that tutorial, edit the event. Now here we can change that to 9.45. And it goes through to 10.30, which is correct. Uh, and you can do a different colour if you want to. So uh, I think in the, let's stick it in the yellow, that one. Um, and then save. Okay, so you can see now that you can build this up that way. Now, uh, rather than you watch me stick in the whole um, timetable, what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll pause it there. Okay, so now I've got the full day's diary in there, um, and you can see it's, uh, it's relatively easy to, to set up. Um, one of the advantages with this one, compared to uh, using a paper-based one, is it's so easy to change afterwards. And also it gives you the opportunity of looking at it, so you can see what you're doing all week. Uh, you can see what you're doing on an individual day. You can swap to see what you're doing over the, the month. Okay, so that obviously that will become more useful as you go through there. You also have the opportunity, if you go back to the week, click on the day, you have the opportunity there to actually print that out, okay, if you want to. So having got your, your diary in there for your study day, now you can do exactly the same thing for your work, uh, work commitments. Um, what I would suggest you do um, is you know, don't worry about sticking specific sleep time in 
that just use the diary from say 7 a.m. through till whatever time you go to uh, usually go to bed so or whatever time you want to stop depending on whether you're an early morning person or a late at night person so definitely 10 o'clock knock it on the head um, and then you can start filling in the gaps between 7 and 10 so uh, I'll leave it up to you to fill in your work times work days and work hours but what I'll do now is I'll uh, I'm, I'm going to fill in the rest of it um, what I'm going to start off with doing is uh, assuming that we're going to spend an hour in the evenings um, every day doing some study okay now I'm going to leave Monday and Tuesday because they're a little bit special uh, I'm going to suggest that for example Wednesday Thursday Friday between 7 and 8 we do some private study okay so click in there and we'll do private study edit the event so we're going to do uh, between 7 and 8 we're going to repeat it Wednesday Thursday Friday and we're going to repeat it through until July 20th done um, let's save that so now we have that in there throughout the week okay so the next one I mean those ones are going to be flexible you need to change what you do in there uh, depending on what commitments you've got for assignments etc etc uh, but you can change what you actually study in that period you can actually extend it a lot length uh, the length if you want to as well the other thing I'm going to suggest you block in is the weekend okay so if you're in the habit of having a line on a Saturday and Sunday morning um, I do appreciate you need some time to to recharge your batteries but rather than take up the whole of the weekend studying it might be best to get out of bed a little bit earlier and block in a couple of hours on a Saturday and Sunday so let's stick those in as well so we'll click Saturday 10 o'clock we're going to start studying and so we're going to stick in there private study edit the event so this is going to be between 10 and 12 you're going to repeat that Saturday and Sunday and that will be going through until July 20th done okay so we have that private study in there as well so save that so now you'll find you've got private study there there's nothing there because that was our start date but if you go into the month you can see now private study at the weekends okay so let's go back to the week um, now why I suggested that Monday and Tuesday uh, depends on what your day release day is but I would suggest that on your day release day what you actually do is spend an hour just going through your notes for the day okay uh, just an hour going through the notes so we're going to stick in there um, revision um, helps if you can spell revision edit the event between seven and eight repeat so save so now you have that one in there now because that's a little bit special uh, you may want to change the color on that one so let's make it a slightly different color, that color. save all events okay so it's still in the evening still uh, private study but the reason this is important is because you've gone through the day's day release what is really useful is to actually have the opportunity just to sit down go through your notes and highlight things you're not sure about okay so you can write those down on a pad and that's a reminder that you've got to follow that up uh, the other reason is if you go through your notes in the evening you've done your day release what you've done in here will be fresher in your mind 
um, and just re reinforcing that on the evening will help you remember it okay so that one hour on the end of the day I know you may be feeling tired but that is a really really useful way to spend that time okay so why is Monday different well bear in mind if you're tired if your daily release day is a Tuesday that is on the Tuesday and what I'm going to suggest here uh, moves forward as well I'm going to suggest that this time on a, on the day before your day release day is spent for two things one is revision and the other one is to have a quick look through uh, what you're going to be doing on the day because if you can do a little bit of preparation just to even think what the topics are going to be uh, what you're going to be studying it will really help you get the most from the following day okay so let's start off by saying in here we're going to revise that one so let's click on that one edit the event and we're going to repeat it edit so let's do the Monday as well okay so it's gone in there now nothing's actually happened there uh, the reason being that this is our start date okay so if we go into the click on to the next week and you can see there that you've got the private study on the Sunday and you've also got that revision period clocked in for you okay so let's go back the previous week and the other thing I'm going to suggest you do the night before is your recap well obviously this is this week so let's go and stick it in here and we're going to stick in there between eight and nine and we're going to do a preview edit the event between eight and nine repeat on the Monday through to 20th of July done save it's okay so now you've got a preview revision and you've got your Saturday and Sunday as well oh you may notice here that we've got a slight problem because those tutorials haven't come up and the study self study skills haven't come up so just to show you how easy it is to to modify things if we go back to the previous week you can see they're there all that's happened is that for some strange reason um, I didn't do the repeat um, and we're going to do it on a weekly basis through to July 20th done save okay so now we go into the next week you can see the tutorials in there but we need to do the study skills now as well so we're going to repeat that one through to oops July the 20th done save okay so now we're in there okay so that's the skeleton of the study that I'm going to uh, recommend you do uh, and you can fill in the rest okay so have a go see how you get on